Thanks for staying with us tonight in the snow already falling down outside. We're looking a little bit more like February outside. Mm -hmm. Winter is back, at least for a couple of days. Well, let's get right to it. These weather warnings advisories out for the area. Heavy snow warning takes up most of the area. Snow advisory in effect for Wyoming, McDowell, and Monroe counties. There won't be quite as much snow in the snow advisory opposed to where the heavy snow warning is in effect for. And the higher elevations, of course, will pick up on the most. Here comes that first batch of snowfall over the last four hours is streaming through the area. Now beginning to see a little bit of a break. Things not quite as intense as what they were. But now the thing is, is that all the water on the roadways, any of the rain that we had earlier today now beginning to free freeze and that snowfall, at least on some of the roads, is beginning to stick and add up. And certainly on the grassy surfaces, about a half inch of snow is now on the ground. 27 degrees, 25 degree dew point, still a lot of moisture in this air and visibility is down to a mile and a quarter. This is due to that falling snow that will continue to add up as we go throughout the rest of the night today and also tomorrow and the following night. Here's that wraparound snow. We had a little upper level disturbance help out the initial band of snow that we had tonight, but now it's looking like a typical upslope snow event. So those winds coming from the northwest and streaming into our area. Look back towards Lake Michigan. Notice a stream of snow, lake effect snow band stretching all the way down to central Indiana. This moisture will continue and it'll pull right into our area. So you take that moisture and the temperatures are very cold. And as it crosses over the mountains, this is being forced to lift. And as it does, help to saturate that air and really produce a lot of that snow across the higher elevations. That is exactly what we're seeing happen now and will continue to see happen throughout the day tomorrow and again later on tomorrow night. So again, these arrows key because it's pulling in a lot of extra moisture right off the lakes. And this is really helping to contribute to some of these higher snowfall totals. So again, the snow coming through the area tomorrow and these arrows continuing by later on tomorrow to pull right off of the lake and they're streaming right into our area. And that's a pretty good indication that we'll have this moisture around as we head through later on tomorrow and tomorrow night as well. So let's time things out for you here on County Cast. Overnight tonight, no surprise, the snow shower is still around the area. Waking up for that morning commute, they'll still be around as well and throughout the day. Now they are snow showers, so we'll have brief bursts of heavy snow. Sometimes we'll just have light flurries. But again, it will begin to add up as we progress throughout the day tomorrow. And even into early Thursday morning, notice these streams of snow and these nice bands of snow coming through the area. Anywhere those bands end up lining up, that's where the heaviest of the snowfall is going to end up falling. And so that continues to be a challenge forecasting, but the higher elevation certainly will pick up the most. Now, on average, here is the snow timeline. Tonight, about one to three inches of snow will fall. Tomorrow, another two to three inches on top of that. And Wednesday night, another one to two. So the snow's not going to be falling very heavy for any given time period. But once you finally add up the snow over the next 36 hours, it will add up to some pretty significant amounts. So four to eight inches for most of us is western facing slopes. Two to four as you head towards the lowlands, Wyoming, McDowell counties, seeing some lighter snow amounts there. Also Monroe counties, those eastern facing slopes, a significant difference. Only one to two inches for parts of Monroe County. And also as you head further to the east in Greenbrier County, the snowfall totals will go down significantly. But Quinwood, Richwood, Snowshoe, those higher elevations on the western facing slopes, you could see eight to 12 inches of snow. This is where the heaviest of snow is going to fall. And again, just as you cross over the mountains, the snowfall totals go down significantly. So we're talking about snowshoe, you could see a foot, but Marlinson maybe only a couple of inches. So that's how dramatic it can be. Tonight, snow likely one to three inches expected by tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be in the lower 20s to start off the day, 25 in Union, 16 in snowshoe, the one cooler spot on the board. Now as we go through the day tomorrow, we're going to add up a little bit more snow. Another two to three on top of the one to three that will fall overnight tonight. So colder with those snow showers and keeping temperatures in the low 20s, even falling into the upper teens by later on tomorrow afternoon. And in that seven day forecast, again, when we're all said and done with, as we wake up on Thursday morning, most of the area will see four to eight inches of snow. Then we have another little clipper by Friday. Looks like things will be mostly rain. And finally, Kiki, we warm up 51 and sunny by Sunday. No more snow talk. We'll be talking about it melting, if anything at all. Thanks a lot, Ross. Stay with <laughs> us. Dan Toth is up next with sports.